Good morning. I'm looking a bit dishevelled this morning and you can see the hoover and some kind of drill thing charging in the background here. Just getting my uh, shoes on to take Lilia to work. She's got a couple of extra shifts this week, which is nice. And then on my way back from dropping her, I'm going to stop at the hospital pharmacy and pick up my antibiotics because I had a call quite late last night, well, late in the day, sort of six o'clock, from the hospital pharmacy to let me know that my antibiotics prescription is ready. So I've got everything crossed that they're not going to make me super ill and that I can complete the course. Um, it's been many, many, many years since I've taken antibiotics, um, but I don't often do too well on them in terms of side effects, so fingers crossed. Uh, I've got a too good to go bag to pick up tonight as well, because Lilia's working, I'll be picking her up about half six. I managed to get a too good to go bag from Costa, which I've never done before. Uh, so we'll be picking that up at seven. So that'll be fun to see what we get. I wondered what that was. It's a bit of crisp from where we were sitting eating crisps and playing games last night. Uh, Phoebe and I want to go to Home Bargains. There's one about a 20 minute drive away to look for some decorations uh, for her party, which she's having at the end of November for her birthday. It's her 13th um, and it's going to be pink and white themed. We've got lots of ideas um, and we need to go and see if we can find some decorations. So I'm sure there'll be Halloween-y bits there as well. Not that I want to buy any Halloween-y bits, I've got everything I need. And then we were hoping, if I've still got the energy after that, we were hoping to make some cookies. And I've got to sort my hair out at some point today as well, because I think just scraping it back and looking frizzy is getting on my nerves. It needs to come back down again. Right, let's get started with the day. Pumpkin mugs. Look at the little marshmallow hot chocolate. <laughs> Well, home bargains didn't go as planned, did it, Phoebe? No. They didn't have, they had silver, but they didn't have white. So we, we're trying to think of where to go next, but I did pick up some things from home bargains for me, which are really unexciting. I got a big thing of Vanish. She got this. And I got this because Phoebe's always going on about scrub mommy. No, I'm Where not. do you see them? That no, I, I on just TikTok saw, yeah. So I got myself a scrub, scrub mummy which are scratch-free, dishwasher-safe, deep cleaning and can clean both sides of your utensils. I got um, some washing machine cleaner because we need that. And I got wipes. I don't often buy wipes. I mean, if I do buy wipes, I get biodegradable or flushable. Um, but uh, I really need something to help with just daily sort of wipes and cleanups. And these are 99p. So they will go in the bin they won't go in the toilet obviously but they're supposed to be good for lime scale and stuff so wipes right now we've got to work out where we're going to go to search for white baubles do you want to go over sports to lakes direct. sports direct will not sell baubles i'm thinking over to lakeside for the range okay i haven't managed to get my medication either there was such a huge queue for the hospital car box that i couldn't get in so we're going to have to try that again as well let's go yeah we need snacks I'll have one of my chewing gums. There's some mints if you want one. I'm going to have one of my chewing gums. Halloween wreath. It sheds. Ooh, no, no, don't want it to shed. Oh my gosh, this place is amazing. We're going up to Christmas. I need a bigger Christmas tree. Yeah, there is pink. I'm just going to put a pink 
Okay. Does it flicker? It does not flicker, Mum. You need to see. They've got truth there. Oh, they do. Cool white or warm white? So we just went to the range. We did. And to get some stuff for my party. And before, it's pink and white theme. Just saying. Anyways. We're covered in glitter now. We've got this massive bow. <laughs> <laughs> I need to put it back. It's very glittery. My whole car is covered in glitter now. Um, yeah, she wanted a big bow as part of her party decoration. We're going to put it on the door. Oh, to yeah. the kitchen because that's where we're going to have the party and then you're going to have it on your bedroom door and we're going to be yeah. covered with glitter forever more and then mum got orange, orange food colouring food colouring, oops she right. just dropped something and I'm then in there. I'm going to get everything in here now <sighs> anyways, anyways and then she got these lights and she took like 20 minutes deciding what lights to get I did. I need lights. So I used to have lights up in the kitchen, uh, but they were multicoloured, and I want white. And I, I want warm white, not cool white. And I want them on a white string, not a green string. Anyway, I had to compromise in the end. And also, they can't flicker when I'm filming. So I did a flicker test when I was in there. I filmed it, and these ones didn't flicker, but they are on a rose gold or copper colour wire. But we'll see how they look. They were fourteen ninety nine. And you get like nine, 19 meters, so that's quite good. And then, so basically for my party, this is another thing for my party, but then we can use them after. So we've got these like glittery white baubles. White baubles. And um, we're going to put them in a jar with pink fairy lights. We're going to experiment with that when we get home, aren't we? But and what are we doing bells. first, Phoebe? What do you want? We're going to McDonald's. You want a McDonald's. Should we like park up and eat in or do you want to drive through and eat in the car i want to drive through and eat in the car yeah so you don't have to mix with anybody yeah. <laughs> also i'm covered in glitter yes we are covered in glitter this is going to be a problem look dad it? hoovered my car for me the other day look we obviously didn't do he it didn't do well. that bit did he he's obviously done in front of me yeah where well, he, he'll sit if he is if he's ever in this car I'm gonna have to get my uh, I'll have to hoover it myself. So you build it up with baubles and lights. It looks so pretty. Don't do that, they'll break if you drop it. Plastic. They'll still break. Right, in it, next one, how many have you got? Three. Wow, I think it's going to be just enough, isn't it? Yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll put it somewhere where we can hide the battery pack. That looks so cool, Phoebe. What do you think? I like it. You like it? Yeah. Praise indeed. gone a bit poofy right let's get this in a good position that's better now i feel really low down actually no that's good because I, i'm going to talk about this in a minute so we'll leave it like that i was going to do some knitting on some of my strictly socks the crochet socks are strictly socks as well but these are knitted strictly socks but i thought before i do that because i was about to use this i thought this would be a good opportunity to talk to you about serious lights because they are sponsoring a video this vlogtober and it will be this one. So I'm just going to bring my, my, my best friend in here so I can tell you all about it. So this is my high definition Sirius light. I've worked with them before, so you've probably heard me talk about this. Uh, the first time I worked with them, they sent me this light uh, to try and to talk about. And I just fell in love with it. And I use it all the time. I've used it all the way through the summer. And I use it most evenings because if I put it on... You can see it's really directional. Anyone sitting beside me, I know, I know it's quite light, 
Maybe I should shut the blind to give you an idea. Oh no, I'll, I'll get some footage of it later. So if someone's sitting right beside me watching television, if we're watching Strictly and I'm working on my Strictly socks, and we've got the lights low, which we like in the evening, I can work really happily and no one else is disturbed. Oh, sorry. And there is a, you can make it brighter. Ha. <laughs> or dimmer, and you can expand the, the beam as well, so it could be a much wider beam, but I keep it on the narrowest one. So it is, sorry, I'm still cutting out coughing. Okay, let's, let's compose myself and start again. So thank you to Serious Lights for sponsoring this video. I absolutely love my Serious Light, as you can probably tell, and you've probably seen me using it a million times just in the course of making vlogs. Um, they use daylight wavelength technology. Hang on, let me check if that's right. Uh, yeah, Sirius Lights uses daylight wavelength technology, so that replicates the daylight spectrum as closely as technically possible. In all the hours that I've used this, I've never had any eye strain or anything like that, and some it's so easy to move about that I, I have it generally here, and then if I'm working, on the, I tend to sit out on the other sofa at night, I just pull it across cutting out copying again. I got the lightweight base high definition light, uh, but you can get one with a very heavyweight base as well. Uh, I can't imagine it would be that difficult to move it about, but I can't really speak for that because I've got the lightweight one. I even take it upstairs to bed sometimes. Dan uses it sometimes when he's working, especially if it's a dull day at the kitchen table. And yeah, as a crafter, especially, well, even throughout the, like I say, even throughout the winter, the winter, the summer months I used it, but at this time of year, as the nights are drawing in and I think next weekend the clocks go back, um, it's just an absolute godsend because it's dark from like 4.30 or even earlier and I can sit and work quite happily. Um, I can use dark yarns and yeah, everything. I absolutely love it. I love my serious light and I have an offer code for you. I will pop it on the screen, but I, also, I will also pop it in the description box underneath, probably in a pinned comment as well. And I'll put a link to where you can go to use it. Uh, it's offer code SR486 and that gives you a hundred pounds off uh, high definition, high definition lights. There are three in the range and free delivery as well. So that is an absolutely brilliant offer because £100 off, well, and free delivery is incredible. They're a UK-based company, by the way. They're based in Aylesford, and all of their lights come with a five-year warranty as well. So you can really, it's really, it's brilliant. I love things where you have peace of mind like that. So I will put all the details underneath that you need to get the offer. I hope I've said that all clearly because I feel like I just waffled that and coughed a lot. It, it's also very good, I'm just looking down here, like say you're sitting here in this spot and you've got your knitting and it's a little bit dark and you want to turn it on so you can see what you're doing, which actually I am going to because I, that is already improving the situation. It won't disturb um, the cat that's not your cat that's sleeping in the knitting basket that's not her basket. make it less poofy. I think I've just made it weird. I think it's rebelling against being down after so long tucked up in a ponytail. I'm just getting ready to take Phoebe to football. Got to pick up her friend on the way. If you can hear any funny crackling noises it's because you're on top of a, um, for reasons I won't go into, you're on top of an old car radio in a plastic bag. So if you can hear any crinkling, it's a plastic bag settling. Just going to put some washing on before we head out. So I'm going to drop Phoebe at um, something football along with her friend and then keep going and go and pick up Lilia from work and also pick up our Too Good To Go bag from Costa because uh, I've got one to pick up to coincide with when I needed to pick her up. Dan coaches the football um, and he's already there coaching the younger ones, which is why I'm doing the running around. Uh, didn't really pan out how I wanted to this afternoon, didn't really get any knitting done and we didn't make biscuits like we were wanting to either, just hasn't had it in me and the house is starting to get out of my control a bit now, which is why I'm going to try and put some washing on. Um, I've spent 11 years without having to worry about being affected by illness in this way and um, yeah, it's a bit of a shocker. So I've got my antibiotics now, so I'm going to take my first dose of that, I think, with 
we've got to take it with food, so I'm going to take that with dinner tonight, and that'll give me a good sort of feeling for how they make me feel by morning, so then I'll know whether it's safe or not to maybe try to go to work or work from home. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit funny, but yeah, I'm hoping it's, it's going to be short-lived, and what needs to happen is happening, so um, there's not much else you can ask for, really, is that? So let's get going and go and see what we get in our too good to go bag. Oh, I have Lilia. Lilia has a new bag. I do. That she bought at work today. Hold on, can I? I'll take my apple juice out. Do you want to show everyone your bag? <laughs> it's very good. Um, they cancelled my too good to go order. I was very upset. So, and also, it took me, I left home at just before six o'clock and I didn't drop the girls off at football, which is about two miles up the road until 6.45. <laughs> it took me so long because we live near the M25 and something's gone wrong with the M25 and everywhere's gridlocked. It's all right going back, thank goodness. But So I've basically been in the car, then I had to get from there to here to pick you up. So I've been in the car for about an hour and 15 minutes and I've still got to cook dinner. Uh, so Phoebe was going to have a friend for a sleepover, but they're not very well. So I just got a deal in Marks and Spencers, which I wouldn't normally do, but I'm very excited about. It was, I'm very excited about it. Was it was £7. Too. So I was thinking I'd get uh, Dan and I posh pasta, which is our sort of go-to thing for when we really can't be bothered. So I, And Marks and Spencers, you know, a bit posh, posh, isn't it? So I got prawn, tomato, chilli and garlic, but they did, had an offer where you could get the pasta, some sauce and garlic bread for seven pounds so Lilia had already expressed an interest in garlic bread so we got their cheesy garlic fat bread fat bread flat That's bread right. and the sauce we got tomato mascarpone which we won't have with our pasta but we're going to do that for Phoebe with some pepperoni through it and just pasta so it's a pasta night and Lilia used to have this all the time before swimming no, what was it before to... guides no, it was before trampolining. And before it trampolining. was a spinning general quarter one. But yeah, Lilia used to do trampolining. So we got her ham and cheese tortellini because you like a tortellini. I do. And it feels a bit special, doesn't it, when it's Marks and Spencers? Very special. Marks and Spencers is, I'm sure everybody knows what Marks and Spencers is, but in case you don't, it is a, well, it's a clothes shop, a home shop, and a supermarket, isn't it? Yeah. Well, our one is. And a fabric a, shop. And a, no, that's John Lewis. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, but they also have their own standalone little just food shops. Yeah. Yeah, Marks and Spencer's food halls. And it always just feels a little bit posh to get something from Marks yeah. and Spencer's. Like it's a treat. Posh. Anyway, no too good to go bag today. I didn't update my story graph. <gasps> I'm gonna have to do that now. So beige, but it's exactly what I need. In fact, Phoebe, you, you're the only one without beige. There's all coming. Yeah. Oh my lord. Is that good? Yeah. Is that good tortellini? Yeah. I'm looking forward to mine. I'm going to put some parmesan on first. How was football done? Really good actually. How's the cheesy garlic bread? Really good. Not mm. as good as football training tonight, but really You're good. welcome. Oh, my battery's going, so I'm going to keep this um, quick. Well, I'll try to. It's, what is it? It's just coming up for 20 past eight. Uh, uh, by the time I'd sort of dropped Phoebe off and then picked up Lilia and then got back, I cooked dinner and we've just finished eating. And I haven't even edited my vlog that would normally go up between sort of four and five o'clock. And that is because I, I didn't get up as early as normal, normal. What is that up there? Is that a fly or a moth or a spider? to come investigate that i'm just fed up with bugs at the moment they seem to be loads of them and it's october and i feel like they're just everywhere in all forms and it's making me feel really scratchy and ugh, i hate it i feel like ugh. um what was i saying oh yeah so i got back and i cooked and i haven't even edited my vlog because i would normally do that first thing but i slept until just after eight this morning so then I got off and I had to take Lilia to work and go and pick up my medication and then Phoebe and I did some bits together. So I'm wiped out and behind, which I think is just par for the course when you're a bit under the weather. I've just taken my first antibiotic got um, after dinner. So 
fingers crossed that works and doesn't make me feel worse. And on that note, I'm going to go. Have I got anything else that I need to say? Just thank you so much for your comments as ever. Um, really enjoying reading them. Dan reads them too. He's been replying to some of them. And yeah, it's just so lovely to hear from you. And thank you for your well wishes. Um, I am all right. I'm just under par, I would say, and keen to get this, uh, get on top of whatever this is. But I don't think it's going to be a major setback or anything, touch wood. Um, it just, yeah, it feels a bit like it's flooring me slightly at the moment, but I feel okay and then I start to do stuff and then I feel, then I realise I'm not okay, basically. So I think I might have to work from home tomorrow. I was going out and about just now, even just sitting in the car was a lot. So, yeah. So I will see you tomorrow and uh, for Friday. I can't believe it's Friday already and... No Friday night Prosecco, because I can't drink now for the full two weeks of the antibiotics, which is fine. don't really feel like it, to be honest, because I'm feeling grotty. And I'm going to stop saying and and adding more things. I'll see you tomorrow. Night.